Okay. So I'm gonna put the micro USB because it's not communicate. Oh, you need to be paired, right? Yeah. But once once you uh, connect the cable to the module and to the various X. Okay. You're gonna go back to the various and click Add over on the top right corner. And why this happened? Because it's, it is not connected I for long time. No I don't have an answer for you. Okay. Okay. No problem. Let me see what's gonna happen here. Uh, I'm not able to communicate to diagnose my car. Let me get the US USB connected first. I believe this one like this. That's one here. It's connected to the car also, right? No, no, just uh, the module to get connected to the various edge only. So you don't want me to connect it to the car, right? Okay, that's good. So let me let me take this one here, disconnect it from the car. And then here I'm gonna look for my USB connector. Yeah, I connected to it to the car. I, I hear it make did it. Okay, now where I'm gonna go? So once you connect it to uh, the various edge, you're gonna go to the top of the screen and click add. Okay, hold on. I don't see anything say add, but do you want me to do you want me to go to uh, connect on? Do you want me to click on uh, system setting? Yeah, yeah. Go back to system settings and then click on pair devices. Pair devices is here. Yeah, and then go to add. I don't see no or oh, add on the on the on the right side. On the top right corner. Add. Okay. Make sure the 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 device powered on and is. In within the yeah. range, yeah, yeah, but okay. it's not it's not power on because it's not connected to to the car. Yeah, just as long as it's connected to the various edges. That's gonna be okay. In the in the in the various is okay. Yep. Okay, I say okay. Searching for comparable device because I don't see anything here blinking on the on the on the scanner. It's on the yeah. So he asked me one or more devices have been discovered please make the selection scan module right yeah click on the scan module i was telling my son can you can you do it and he said he where how when i said okay let's go through so as long as it's discovered that means okay yeah i see it is okay so it's peered already so i gotta go back so so once once it finds the the scan module and you click on it to select it then uh, go all the way down to the bottom left on the bottom left this green and click, yeah and click on the third icon over the one that says menu on it. from the left one two three yeah. yeah the third one click on that and and uh, look for for peripheral manager no, I, di I didn't see that one. Right now, I am in a paired device, and I see both of them are here. You want me to click on the on the piece itself, or on the right side? I ha on the right side, I have one, two, only two connect two pieces, which is. You go all the way down to the bottom left and click on the third icon over. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, this one. And yeah. then uh, look for um, an option for a peripheral manager. Yeah, I see it here. Reprogram scan module. Okay. And then update now. It says device is in use. Device is in use and is unable to be programmed. Okay. So click exit or go back to the main Cancel. page. Okay. And um, if you click on the uh, home icon to go back to the suite and exit out of the suite. Okay. Exit. And then relaunch, relaunch the program. Oh, okay. The diagnosis, sharp diagnosis, right? Sharp scene diagnostic okay. suite, yeah. What well, are you moving too much? You cannot display it like this. I believe it's already programmed it, huh? or I have to reprogram it again. No, we have to. Once it opens up, we're gonna go back to system settings, system pair settings. devices, and then back to the menu on the bottom. Pair, pair here. Eight devices is already added, so you want me to 
go to add. Uh, no, after you click on pair devices, go go to the menu icon on the bottom left. Okay. Go back to peripheral manager. Okay, I got you. I'm gonna click here. Peripheral manager. Program is cut. Yeah, you say update now. Do not press the power button while. Okay, update now. So now I'm updating it. Yeah, I see here it's blinking. It's stay, it's stay green. It is not connected in the car. Yeah, yeah they should have been connected to the car only. Oh, right now we're just setting the, the scanner up. The yeah, I didn't connect it to the car. Oh, we just, we just connect, we just connecting the scanner to work. Get update and go to the Bluetooth. What is the? And I also have a. I have one of my. Uh, Path-through device. They don't. When I connect it, they are not communicating. You hear a noise, but they are not communicating. You may need to be a program or something wrong with you. Right with the pass-through. Yes, I have path-through too, the older one. Maybe by mistake, I download a path-through, path-through three, and then they don't. They don't know each other. The pass-through uh, two and three. Uh, files or, or drivers I think they're pretty Same. pretty similar but if you have a, a two and it's not working I, does it give you like a little toolbox um, icon when I go to the tool when I go to the toolbox and I try to click on it to communicate it doesn't communicate with the toolbox and it does not even communicate also with uh, like if I use it as a pass-through for other devices it doesn't communicate If it doesn't communicate, it could be anything. It could be maybe just the, the, the drivers. You might need to reinstall the drivers. Uh, you can try uh, a different cable, check with your dealer, see if it's got another cable. And the other thing is, we might need to bring the, the pass through in to get you hacked if it's not How much it costs to, to send it in, fix it, and send it back? Uh, let me check. Okay, here is success. I click OK. So you want me to go? Okay, so I see now. Pass-through, they have a flat rate of uh, $350. Okay, so that's good. So I'm going to put... Uh, there's a place I can I can send it, right? But there might be, there might be something with a cable, not the pass-through itself. It's still, I can send it. I can send it there. If you need a cable, you can send it to me. Do you have a snap-on dealer? In my area, is not. They never come for a long time. I don't know why. So you said you try, you installed the pass for about three drivers and it's not communicating. No, no, no. I'm no, no. I'm not. I'm not sure why, but it's not working. The only thing I know that it's not. It's not communicating when I when I need to use the 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 tool the toolbox. Let me see if I'm gonna be able to communicate now. I have to disconnect the USB, right? Once it, uh, you get a message on the screen that says the firmware download succeeded, mm. just click OK and then you can unplug the module. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go directly. I see it's Green Day Auto Scan. And then 2006, automatic. Continue. Establish communication, ignition is on. Oh, I didn't connect the OBD2. It has its own battery, this thing? The module doesn't have, uh, I mean, it might have a, uh, I mean, the, the, the scanner module doesn't have a battery, it just powers off of the vehicle. vehicle oh, okay, I got it. I got it. And it's supposed to go through Bluetooth, right? Yep. Let me turn, let me go out completely, uh, exit the program, and then come back again. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. Well, thank you for your tech support, Snavon. Okay, this is a tech support. Uh, can I ask one question? Uh, is it communicating 
one? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I, I opened, uh, I reopened the uh, starting snap on again. Okay. Yeah, I see in the bottom there, devi dri device driver software was not successfully installed. I don't know which driver you look for. Okay, now I got the scanner. I see, oh yeah, I see now it start blinking. The Bluetooth is blinking, that means it's good. So I'm gonna go to BMW. And I will go to auto selection. I'm gonna go to 2006, automatic ID. Now I see green one is coming. Before I don't have this attempt, automatic ID initialization, please wait. Yeah, that was, that was because it wasn't, it wasn't I don't have that one. Before it was it was just go up and down and give us hard time. Uh, on Chrysler, Chrysler software through is through is snap on. Do we have any functionality for that? Well, well, I don't understand what you ask me. What, what about Chrysler? If I need to do Chrysler, if I want to program Chrysler's and do updating manual, do I have to use the dealer tools or through through your system it will be? The pass -through, the pass -through is Oh, okay, so by through Snapon we don't do anything, right? We don't have any platform through Snapon. Oh, the password you can download uh, and install the drivers on your computer. You can use the password on, on any of the manufacturers that support it. Oh, I got you. I got you. Then that good. So this one is working now. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Thank you very much. Alrighty, have a good day. Okay, now I'm gonna go here, around and get what engine size said, 3.0. Okay, let me go now here one more. Then 3.0. That the pin number, everything, I will say okay. Scan code. تعصروا شديد جوا هاي بغير لانه ما كويس لكن اصل هذول احتمال وين شحن هناك اوكي ناو وي جيتنج هير وي جيتنج هير اوكي جير ريشيو مونيتورز كود 52 وي هاف كود 52 جير مونيتور جير مونيتورين 52 ترانزميشن هاف جير مونيتورين ABS intermittent system down. Transmission signal error. see if there's any information online that's sure truck but okay we're gonna go out there is nothing I will look for it later and see We have code for gear monitoring, so the transmission have an issue. So you have to go through all the others diagnosis, and then this car when you drive, it shut down a little bit, or you go down, and there is a gear icon coming here. So 
is this gear icon is coming here when you drive this gear icon come up here like this and then the car going to limb mode so we have a code here i'm gonna clear this code okay give me one minute just i'll be by you no code thank you for watching mobile electronic see you in another video